The third Cal Ranch robbery suspect has been arrested. A child was hit by a car while riding a bike, and a Hurricane Fire Department surprised a little girl and her family with gifts. You're watching St. George News at 5. Good afternoon, I'm Amy Bennett. There's another update on the Cedar City Cal Ranch gun thefts as the third suspect has been taken into custody. Parker DeVoge was arrested in Caliente, Nevada and taken to the county jail in Pioche. Cedar City Police and Lincoln County authorities worked together waiting for DeVoge to show up at a friend's house. DeVoge ended up giving himself up and is awaiting extradition in the Lincoln County Jail. All three men have been charged with multiple felonies for the alleged theft of around 75 firearms from the Cal Ranch store in Cedar City. The charges filed against a recently detained DeVoge include two counts of aggravated burglary, five counts of theft of a firearm, and one count of property damage. A child who was riding a bicycle in Little Valley was struck by a car while attempting to cross the street. Here's Chris Reed with more on the incident and why the Washington County Sheriff's Office got involved. A child of a St. George police officer riding his kick scooter in a quiet Little Valley neighborhood of St. George was hit by a minivan while crossing the street. The incident happened around 3 p.m. Wednesday afternoon at the corner of Will Tree Lane and 2880 East Street with many kids out and about during the school holiday playing around the street with little traffic. Police said the injuries were non-life-threatening, but the child was still taken to the hospital. Be because of a possible conflict of interest, the Utah Highway Patrol took over the investigation with an assist from the Washington County Sheriff. Thanks, Chris. The Utah Department of Health and Human Services reported that in 2022, Utah saw a 12% spike in suicides, which reached 717 deaths for the state. Dr. Michelle Hoffman emphasized the urgent need for Utahns to seek out training and support if dealing with suicidal thoughts. Here are a few ways that you can help others who might be at risk for suicide. Make sure you're watching out for signs that the people you care about might be struggling and let them know that you support them. Ask the person directly if they're thinking about suicide. This will make them less likely to attempt it. If a friend or a loved one tells you that they're thinking about suicide, take them seriously. Ask them open-ended questions and listen without judgment. And lastly, connect with them and invite them to seek out professional resources, such as the 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline, where they can talk with a trained crisis worker 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The White House recently earmarked millions of dollars for Utah and specifically for Iron County. Here's Chris Reed with the federal disaster declaration that was approved this past Saturday. The White House over the weekend approved a federal disaster declaration for Iron County, qualifying the county's government for federal financial aid for damage to county infrastructure from snowpack runoff back in May. Roads were washed out and culverts damaged in the Hamlin Valley and Modena areas of Western Iron County from last winter's extensive melting snowpack. Pending direction from the state government, Iron County stands to get from FEMA up to 75% of the hundreds of thousands of dollars that were spent to repair the snowmelt damage. The disaster declaration only applies to snowpack melt in May and does not apply to the extensive flooding that damaged Iron County Jail and Cedar City Hospital in August. Thanks, Chris. On December 17th, a three-year-old girl was rushed to the hospital with second and third degree burns to over half her body. She was taken to St. George Regional Hospital and then flown to a burn center in Las Vegas, Nevada, where she is still receiving care. The Hurricane Valley Fire and Rescue crew that responded to the incident decided to use their day off this week and travel to Las Vegas to deliver gifts and other items to the little girl and her family, who spent the holidays in the hospital. Thank you for watching St. George News at 5. I'm Amy Bennett with St. George News, your number one source for local news. This has been St. George News at 5.